thought guys it blows my mind thinking that Cuba is having an exam outside the country can you imagine that we don't even have like that in the Philippines <laughs> but yeah today we are going to Poland he will have a diving school exam in Poland we're heading right now we just traveled and it takes an hour for us to arrive there am I correct like maybe one hour and 30 uh-huh an hour in 30 minutes we haven't eaten breakfast but I brought my mango with me and <laughs> the knife <laughs> So I'm gonna eat in the car because I remember I bought this yesterday and I forgot that I have a mango You know mango is one of the best fruits in the Philippines and I miss it so much already And it's also the most Tasty mangoes in the whole world, but this one is I don't know what kind of mango is it But they call it star apple mango in the Philippines. I need to peel my mango Oh, I don't need to peel it. I'm just slicing it. You want? <laughs> I hope it won't be like... Oh! It's dropping on the dropping seats. On the... Do you have some extra clothes? No, there is nothing. While I'm peeling this mango, I remember this Filipino folklore. And right now, I feel like I am breaking the rule. Especially the rule of my mom. Since then, she she always tell us that we are not allowed to eat cold or fruits early like very early in the morning because we have this folklore in the Philippines called Pasmar Pasma in Tagalog and Pasmo in Misaya which means it's a Filipino folklore illnesses or illness that you'll get sick from eating cold foods before eating your breakfast <laughs> Wendy is building us the vitamins. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yummy. You want? And our next stop is gonna be <coughs> grocery store to get breakfast, and after that we will meet with other people who are going with us to Poland today. We will meet in the diving store. We will discuss the plan, the way, the road, everything, and then we will go to Poland. Huh? I didn't know that. Ow! Ow! No, mm, no. It's crazy when you have a kid, right? Like, you are lucky, baby, that we have old car. <laughs> she can be like 30. Ow. But if it's brand new... So I'm not allowed to eat even if it's brand new? Like, it's everything dirty now. My god, men are always like, car first for their wife. Because the car doesn't <laughs> talk back. Car listens to you. Mango. Koba is going for some bread, but I'm here in the perfume. I'm always here every time I go to the mall to try the testers. So we just arrived at the diving school. IQ Sub. That's Jacob's diving school. Is it open? Um, it's still closed, but we have a meet here at 8 a.m. Then we will decide what's going on. So maybe they're already inside. Oh, that's, I can see there is still that gate. Uh -huh. in the door. I so I guess we are early. Maybe we are not late. Because <laughs> you were panicking earlier that we will be late. <laughs> it's better to be early than all that one. So I told him, you panic more than me. <laughs> He's always panicking actually. Like all the time. But me, I'm so just... It's okay. <laughs> Filipinos don't mind to be late. Yeah, because we are always advanced one hour, <laughs> late one hour. 
if you're planning to have a meeting with the Filipino make sure for example you're supposed to have a meeting with this Filipino at 8 you have to tell them you'll have a meeting at 7 because expect if you will give them the exact time they will arrive an hour later <laughs> that's we are not on time no, we're having breakfast, breakfast. yeah just a simple breakfast bread and bun and a bread and bun <laughs> bun bread and Guys, we arrived already in Poland, and Jacob is also starting dressing up, as well as his colleagues. Are you ready? I'm nervous. I'm not I'm nervous not ready. We are in Co Park, Poland. Sadly, I can't swim because this area is only for divers. But I'm happy as well because I don't know how to swim. Maybe we can go somewhere because there's also a lake nearby for people who's going to uh, who be for people who would like to swim. Like I mean, public lake for people. So I'd like to ask Jacob if we can visit there. He's not ready and it's heavy and hot. Very heavy and hot. <laughs> Good luck. So take care. Are you feeling great? No. You're nervous? It's not like that. Do you wanna poo? No, I'm not <laughs> I cannot poop anymore wearing this. <laughs> because when we traveled here we wanted to. Me too. He's checking if what are those things that he forgot? Are you sure that you have everything can, with you? I can't remember. But I have the thing on my mind that there is something missing. The belt do you have? Uh, I don't really know. I can't help you with anything, baby. Sorry. I don't know anything about this. Crazy. You had to pay for the entrance to the area of this lake. How much? Uh, 60 zloty, it's like uh, 600 pesos. Uh huh. And then what else? And you cannot swim, only it's for literally the divers. So if you will be wearing bikini, you are not allowed. <laughs> okay. But if you're wearing this, you can. He's already going, if you can see him. They're going to practice first in the pool. And then after that, they're going to dive somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I will just sit here and watch. This place is a flooded quarry, but there are sites there where people are walking, where you can climb the mountain. Here in that area. And so they're watching. I decided to wait Jacob in the car because I don't know if he will exit there in the pool or somewhere. And he just arrived after, after an hour. Is here. Can you see that? How was it? Crazy. Crazy? Very. Good. Yeah. How was it under? Oh. I was like, like Were there fishes? There was a very little one. I got even more fish. <laughs> Stressing. He'll tell us later what happened. I am done with my first dive for today. There is gonna be a second one later. I put the bottle of air for the refilling, and now I have like two hours of rest time between the second dive. And it was pretty amazing. Here we are in the quarry. The water looks like it's very clear and it's visible, but once you, once we were with my instructor in like 8 meters, the visibility is going down. And <clears throat> we were swimming uh, above the ground and you really can see maybe like 4, four meters 
forward and then you can see like nothing and I was for the first time here and the driving or diving instructor did not tell me anything and you are swimming swimming and at once there appeared a huge excavator a machine which stayed here after they quit the mining or if it was accident here the flood or I don't know but it just appeared a huge excavator with the scoop there and we were swimming all around the excavator it was quite nice and I'm not sure I spent like maybe 30 or 45 minutes under the water I'm not sure honestly I was not checking and it was a very nice experience <clears throat> I was practicing like the things like taking off the mask changing the the breathing tubes everything and now I wonder what will happen during the second dive was it scary at first I was a little bit scared when I took off the mask you have to the point of that you will take off the mask the water will fill the mask <clears throat> then you have to put it on and get the water out of it but I did not make it on the first I did not make it on the first try so I was a little bit panicking there but but how can you take off the water when there's water there? <laughs> yeah, you will just take it on you will lift it a little and breathe out and the bubbles of the air will push out the water are you joining me next year? No. It's crazy thing. Gwen has issues with her ear, with her eardrums. The doctor told her that he doesn't recommend Gwen to do any like diving, jumping to the waters like that. And when Gwen had her middle ear infection, we went at night to the doctor, emergency, everything. And we came here this time and there was like a couple, boy and a girl. And since the morning I was like, I knew that guys from somewhere, I really know that. And after, I don't know, like four hours, it really hit me. Like that's the doctor who was <laughs> taking care of Gwen that night. Crazy, right? So I was telling Gwen, she still have like some issues, a little bit pain. So like, there is your doctor, go ask him, ask him for help. Pain. <laughs> and when no one try and he's not working now, he's diving here. Yeah. Currently, the diving is over for me and for today. I managed to do two dives. It's still not the exams done. There will be still some upcoming dives and some other lessons. But still, I found it like a very good experience for me today. I was scared at first a little the feeling like you are under the water for about 45 minutes that's the crazy thing what i regretted that i did not have a hoodie like a neoprene hoodie i was diving in that quarry just without the hoodie and you will reach into 10 meters and it's like super cold your fingers are freezing a whole head feels like it's a piece of ice but still in the end it was very nice experience my instructor was amazing good experience for those who are thinking about getting a diving license go for it you will not regret absolutely it was hard day for me but even harder day for gwen because she was expecting we will be like diving we, i will camp we will come there I will be diving for like one hour, two hours and then we're going home but yeah. we started our day today 7 a.m. and we came home 7.30 p.m. and for Gwen there it was just waiting, <laughs> it was some boring. sitting in the car, sleeping, eating and even she still had to pay the entrance fee to the area but she was not diving so we are both tired exhausted but he's the most tired but it's me who got the treat yeah. <laughs> we got the treat Gwen wanted that I still had a leftover pizza dough in the fridge so I made me a pizza if you guys eating during this time enjoy your meal and this is the end for the video 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you find it interesting, we will be more than happy with Gwen. If any questions, hit it down to the comments. Thank you guys for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye!